from online curriculum resources provided at no cost to administrative offerings that enable data-driven decisions, SAS offers educators unparalleled opportunities to enhance student achievement, boost teacher effectiveness, and improve overall school and district performance. So, Chancellor, what have you learned in the last three years in using this R system? What I've learned from using our achievement reporting and information system is that if you give data and information to our educators and help them understand how to use that to improve student achievement, you'll get good results. And, and that's what's been going on in New York City. And so it's not just that we have an accountability system, but we have tools and processes that our teachers and our principals and assistant principals use to make improvements, whether it's through the periodic assessment, reviewing various data reports, learning from each other. One of the big mistakes in public education is to think that central headquarters is going to have all the ideas, when in fact we've got great educators throughout our city. And if we hook them up on our ARIS achievement reporting system, they're able to talk with each other. A lot of them facing similar challenges. And what challenges remain in making the system become one where you know data is very much part of the culture and is um, leading some of that charge and improving things? <clears throat> the challenges that remain in transforming the culture of a complex school system are the same challenge in any organization that tries to transform its culture, right? People are not used to data. When I came to the school system, it was basically teachers go in their classroom, teach their kids, did what they could, but didn't think that data would be helpful or part of that. Now, it's still some resistance, and you know, just because we think data are good, doesn't mean every 80, one of 80,000 teachers is gonna say, oh, well, why didn't I think about that, right? So, <laughs> it takes a while, and the second thing is to give them the tools so that they find it helpful. Otherwise, it's gonna be a mumbo jumbo of numbers, and you know, everybody will say, the old lies, lies, and statistics, right? You know, so making this culture change takes time. You got to get the principals to buy in. If the principal of your school is not interested in this, it won't happen. That's why I always say the necessary backbone is a meaningful, robust accountability system that measures the things that you want and then helps other people working together to get the measurable things that you want improved, more of them, higher graduation rates, better student performance. Absolutely. And for those people who are just starting out on this road in their districts and their schools of, of using data, what would you recommend? I would recommend they, for example, come to look at our accountability system. Uh, I've had this discussion actually, a similar accountability system has been implemented now in Australia uh, based on, on people coming in New York. Look at the accountability system in other states like Florida, Colorado that are doing interesting things. Then learn about their tools, their professional development. You don't have to discover it all over again. Our system, we work closely with Colorado. I have a friend, Michael Bennett, who was in superintendent's now center. Michael would work with our system and actually made changes that improved it. We've now taken his changes and baked them into ours. So that's what you want to try to do. But not everyone has to start from ground zero in, in this kind of enterprise. There's a lot of information in, that's out there about accountability systems, about measuring progress. Find one that works different school districts, some of them larger, some are smaller, find one that works, and then develop the tools, make the investments, take the political heat that you're gonna have to take to make it. Remember, every dollar I spend on ARIS, our achievement reporting system, is a dollar that somebody else might prefer that I spend on hiring an additional teacher or putting in another program. So there's always heat when you make choices, but I really believe in the absence of this platform development, we're gonna pay a big price in education.